Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our first of three personal breaks this evening and we're kicking off with a new release here today, Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghosts in the Past, The Second Haunting. We have a full five box display here for Daniel W. from Tennessee. So thank you so much, Dan, for letting me open up some Yu-Gi-Oh! for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Did actually check out a display earlier in the week as well. Didn't have any luck with pulling any ghosts, but I've heard that the pull rates for ghost rares are absolutely all over the place. Some cases having none, some cases having ten. So, very excited to see what we'll be finding here, hoping that we have some awesome luck for Dan. So let's go ahead and get started here. Like I said, full five box display. So there are four packs in each box, should be a total of 20 packs here. Let's go ahead and get started by snapping us into the corner and let's see if we can find any ghosts hoping for a spooky start amazing ghost rares in this set you have dark magician girl blue eyes cyber dragon not blue eyes cyber dragon but blue eyes and cyber dragon blue eyes ultimate wing dragon of raw sphere mode also have i believe red dragon arch fiend as well some really awesome names here Definitely some blasts from the past, or as Yu-Gi-Oh has titled it, Ghosts from the Past. But very excited to see what we'll pull. Also some nice reprints and new cards. Reprints including Luber, Jester of Despia. And I'm excited to see what we'll find here for Dan. Had not bad luck on display earlier this week, but like I said, no ghosts, so we didn't find anything crazy. Two Lubers in the five mini boxes. Hoping to find more than that this time around, and hoping for a ghost. So let's go ahead and get started here, pack number one. So, do have five ultra rares, unless we do find a ghost, and then we'll just have four. Visit, uh, Vision Hero, Poisoner, Ghost Trick Stein, Sacred Waters in the Sky, Ghost Trick Jiangxi, and Mystical Shine Ball. Interesting, we did not pull that at all. On Tuesday's opening, we didn't have any normal monsters, only effect monsters. So that is interesting to see. Dramaturge of Despia, Salaman Great Blaze Dragon, Borland Dragon, uh, Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol. Oh, she's cute. And Doom King, Ballardrock. All right, seeing some new cards, at least to me, as opposed to the opening. From Tuesday. <laughs> Sandwich. Is that a little witch singing? Oh, that is cute. Sandwich. Rookie Warrior Lady. Mardell. Generator. Boss of Light. Vampire Domination. And Flute of Summoning Karibo. Last pack of our first box. We have Ten Yi Spirit. Ashina. Nine Pillars of Yang Zing. Fossil Warrior. Skull Knight. Plunder Patrol Ship. Bran. And Mecha Phantom Beast, Colt Wing. All right, no ghosts here in our first box. Let's go ahead and continue. I remember when we first opened up the display on Tuesday, I was very nervous that the packs are loose inside these boxes here. They are just chilling, just hanging out inside. Was worried we'd be seeing lots of quality control issues due to just the cards bouncing around in the packaging. Overall, it was really, really nice looking for our pulls on Tuesday. Didn't have any cards with like mashed up corners or anything like that. So I was I was actually quite impressed with that. Expected the cards to be roughed up. Um, the packaging, I would say it looks really cool. I like how it's minimal, but it is uh, too minimal for me. Would have liked to have some more supports uh, to make sure the packs don't get damaged because I assume uh, any of the edges of the box get crushed. It's a uh, good chance, especially since they're just floating around, like if it falls this way and it dings this corner, I think your packs are going to get dinged along with it. So it does make me a bit nervous if you guys out there hunting for Ghosts in the Past mini boxes do encounter boxes that look roughed up. I would stay away from them. But, I mean, the packaging looks cool. Interesting decision by Konami to just have everything kind of rolling around in there. Daspian Comedy, Majesty Hyperion, Agent of Mystery Earth, and Ghost Trick Dullahan. Yeah, seeing a lot more variety. How large is this set? I'm seeing at least, ooh, 168. Wow, that is quite large. What, is it perhaps a 175 or like 200 card sets? Very, very big. Master Hyperion, Shell Knight, Rare Fish, and Zector Hornet. That is larger than I expected, and no wonder I feel like we're seeing a lot of new cards. 
All right, last pack here of mini number two. Box of Friends, Vampire Sorcerer, Ghost Trick Mary, Sanctum of Parshath, and Tenny Spirits Mapura. All right. Moving on to our halfway point tier for Dan. Great Mammoth of Goldfine, Alien Ammonites, Galaxy Soldier, Cocatorium, the Heavy Metal Avian, and Zombie World. Zombie World, I feel, is a card, I have, a card I haven't seen in a long time. I remember I did have a zombie structure deck back in the day. Plunder Patrol Ship, Mark, Reptilian, Spawn. We have Go, DD Divine Zero King Rage, or DDD Divine Zero King Rage. It's a pendulum creature. Let me make its own little pile. We have Jorman Gonder, Generator, Boss of Eternity, and Tenny Spirits, Adhara. I suppose we have almost all different types of cards. We don't have any ritual monsters. Not sure if there's any ritual monsters in the sets, but Xyz, Synchro. <laughs> Pendulum, Link Monsters, Fusion Monsters, and of course we have normal and effect monsters, spell cards, trap cards. Nice to see all different types of Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. Definitely heavily leaning towards effect monsters in terms of what is most prevalent in the set, but still cool to see. And I hope there is at least one, at least one ritual monster in here, just so we can have everything. All right? I don't believe I'm missing anything. I think that includes all different types. Whitebeard, the Plunder Patrol Helm, Puppet Queen, DDD, Vice King Requiem, Plunder Patrol Ship Braun, and the Chorus in the Sky. All right, three out of five boxes down. We haven't seen any Lubers, have not seen a Ghost just quite yet. Still have eight more packs to go. Here we go, pack one, box four. Crimson Knight Vampire Brahm, Agent of Creation, Venus. Go, DDD, Divine Zero King Rage. Yazi, Evil of the Young Zing. And number 60, Dugara's the Timeless. Dust Beyond Theater of the Branded. Plunder Patrol Ship, Mark. Chronicle Magician, Motor Shell, Redbeard, the Plunder Patrol, Matey, Fossil Machine, Skull Buggy, Agent of Force, Mars, Fossil Machine, Skull Convoy, Ten Years Spirits, Vishuda, and the Agents of Entropy, Uranus. Retaliating C, DD Savant Copernicus, Protector of the Agents, Moon, Rose Specter of Dunn, and Vampire Sucker. All right. Putting all of our hopes here into box number five for Dan. Let's see if we can find a ghost. Would love to find at least one on the channel this year. Last year, I believe we found two. I think they're both Blue Eyes alternatives. So I really enjoyed those. It would have also been very nice to find a Dark Magician last year. But I I love Blue Eyes, so I was very happy finding the two Blue Eyes alternatives. But man, none yet so far. I mean, we've only opened, once we finish this, this assortment of packs up, two display boxes. But still, would love to find, especially here for Dan. Do have a loose mini box later for Jason as well. So... Lots in the stream. Queue for tomorrow night, too. So definitely still more chances to find ghosts. But, you know, I want to see ghosts right off the bat. Ghost Trick. It's not a ghost rare. Jang Shi and DDD Duo Dawn King Kali Yuga. The Executor of the Underworld, Pluto. Geomath Mech Final Sigma. Master Flare Hyperion. Unmuraki. And Yang Zing Prana. Tatsunekro, adorable. Love Tatsunekro. Agents of Judgment Saturn. 
Outburst Dragon, Vampire Domination, and Hella, Generator of Doom. Or Generator Boss of Doom. Completely skip the word boss. Final pack here for Den. Can we find an Aluber and a Ghost in the same pack? Perhaps an error printed Ghost Rare Aluber. <laughs> Code Generator, Primathmech Laplacian, Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. Oh, that's cool. A Mystical Shine Ball number two. And Chimeratic Fortress Dragon. Oh, I love this card so much. Oh, he's so cute. So this is just these little ah. Yeah, I remember back in the day, Chimeratic, For uh, Chimeratic Fortress Dragon was uh, too expensive for me. I was trying to play, I was trying to build a Cyber Dragon deck, and that was back when the only printings of Chimeratech were, there was only like two printings. One was, I think, some sort of tin reprints, and then Shonen Jump promo, I think, was the other one. So it was quite pricey. I think it was just like, well, I want to say 25, but for me, I wanted three copies. I was like, ooh, that's too much. I was, I always tried to put together like random cards. I would open a bunch of packs, always trying to pull stuff, instead of buying singles, which opening packs, definitely, obviously, I really enjoy doing it here, but I was, I was, I would ban myself. I would never allow myself to buy singles. Why would I spend $3 on a cart when I could open a pack and get a bunch more cards? And I was just, I had the worst decks. I had the worst decks because I would just, just try to see what fits together. But I, I really wanted to play Cyber Dragons. And I remember trying to hunt down the Chimeratech Fortress Dragons. And I did end up getting them later down the road because I encountered them. But that was already after I had stopped playing. But cool to see our last card here for Dan anyways. I know I went off on a tangent here about Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. But really like that card. Really like that card. Not even sure if that's even good for Cyber Dragon decks anymore. Not sure if Cyber De Dragon decks are even relevant whatsoever. I don't think so. But if I'm wrong, please correct me. Would love to just jump in with... I might still have the leftovers of my Cyber Dragon deck as well, but... I had sold off most of my collection back in the day. And I'm, I'm, I'm always sticking my feet back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Always being like, ooh, what's going on over here? But I still need to, like, actually finish a deck. I don't think there's anywhere locally that has, like current events. I know there's another store that runs goat format. I don't think anywhere around here has like regular events. We'll see. I'll see if I can find a store to play at and then maybe build a deck. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know if Cyber Dragons are good or not in the comments down below. But with that, that does wrap off this opening here for Dan. I don't know that I had anything in particular to highlight. So I'm just going to go over all the cards once I stack them all up, run through them here together. So, all right, we had 20... 20 cards per box, right? Four times five, and then have 100 cards. 100 cards to look through here for our recap, but I feel like I've done worse. So I'll just talk while we pan through everything here. But thank you so much, Dan, for letting me open up some Yu-Gi-Oh! for you here on the channel. Unfortunately, did not find a ghost this time. I really like the sandwich as well. That is adorable. It's Sangen plus Witch of the Black Forest. That makes sense. Also, let me know in the comments if there are any ritual monsters in the set. I have a feeling there's not, but it'd be cool to have every type of Yu-Gi-Oh card in this product. So let me know. I'm very curious about that. But yes, thank you so much again, Dan, for letting me open this on up for you. Really hope that you had a lot of fun and love these new additions to your collection. I'll be out there watching. Of course, I hope you enjoy this opening as well. Oh, that's a Necro. Also adorable. Yu-Gi-Oh cards... I love how varied the art style is. Sometimes we have little, I would say, ogre pirates. Sometimes we have little cute ghost monsters. Sometimes we have super mech creatures and like skulls and zombies. It's just such, such a really cool variety. Always a lot of fun to check out Yu-Gi-Oh! Cute little kawaii girl there in the box of friends. And then we have bug warriors and whatever despians are. What are despians? I, I can't figure it out by looking at them. They look very interesting, but I don't know what they are. But yes, that does wrap off this full display here of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghosts in the Past, the second haunting. I like that they gave it that title instead of just Ghosts in the Past 2, although I'm sure that's probably how it's more commonly referred to. But still a lot of fun to check this one out here, Dan, so I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'll be out there watching. I hope you had a lot of fun as well. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me? Drop those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
Also, before I get on out of here and into our second of three breaks of the night, we'll be checking out some Game of Thrones up next and then finishing up with another just single single collector box of Ghosts in the Past, Second Haunting. So just two more quicker videos coming on up. But before I get into those, do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have 14 Black Label fans. Anden, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Gabriel Yodaro, Kira Soltari, Mark Mardini, Mike Clotis, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Achi Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., uh, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinefzen, Tut... Touchdown on Paper Unbreaded and Vanek. Man, I've been stumbling a lot. I feel like I've been stumbling a lot in this video. My apologies, everybody. I feel like I usually do a better job. Maybe I need some water or something. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And of course, all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But with that, that does wrap off our first opening here tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all will join us in the next video. Bye!